Cayman GTS could well be one of the sweetest sports cars we've driven this year, or even this century. So what's different about the new £55,000 GTS, and why is it so much better than the already excellent Cayman S? The 4.4-litre flat-six engine in the GTS has a touch more power and torque than before. The car gets Porsche's PASM and Sport's Chrono systems as standard. Both the interior and exterior have received minor redesigns, including new smoked light lenses front and rear, and 20-inch wheels also become standard. <laughs> Curb weight has also dropped slightly, and in the case of this particular test car, which features Porsche's new no-cost optional sport chassis, the ride height also falls by 20mm, and the overall result has produced a quite exceptional sports car. Right, I'm coming straight out with this. I think that for a sad old die-hard purist enthusiast like me, this thing, the new Cayman GTS, could be pretty much the best sports car that sensible money can buy. I am absolutely in love with this car. It's in quite a fruity spec, I have to say. Um, apart from the fact that you've got the, the extra poke from the engine, 336 horsepower, and um, and you get the PASM as standard and the 20 inch wheels, all that comes with the Cayman GTS as standard. But this one has the sports suspension package on it, which means you don't get the PASM dampers. You've got analog dampers in this car. The ride height goes down another 10 millimeters lower than the standard GTS, so it's 20 millimeters lower than the normal Cayman. It's just so pure and everything it does. It's Oh, the way it stops, the way it steers. Oh man, it's just beautiful, this thing. The noises it makes, the except, I mean, it's properly quick as well. 8,000 revs. Lovely brakes. However, again, that comes down to the fruitiness of the spec. This one's got carbon ceramic brakes. So you've got carbon ceramic brakes, you've got sports seats. You got a sporty exhaust. If 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 you are really into your subject matter, this is the Cayman GTS that you would have. And it's got the standard manual six-speed gearbox, which I have to say, I know I've gone on and on and on about how lovely PDKs are. The six-speed gearbox in this thing is just beautiful. It really does feel kind of slightly old-fashioned, but the but just the efficiency and the, the loveliness with which it changes gear. Just, oh, my, my mind is kind of blown away by this car. How nice does this engine sound? Then you put it in Sport Plus and you get, hang on, wait a minute, all sorts of crackles on the overrun. Hear that? <laughs> Apart from the, the crazy telephone number exotica like the LaFerrari and the McLaren P1, I think this might have the nicest steering of any sports car on sale at the moment. It is delicious, the steering on this car. And the engine is pretty tasty as too. So that's a little mess around with the Cayman GTS on the road, but on the track, 
I think it might be even better still because you've just got that much more space to muck around with on the track. That is extraordinary. That is absolutely incredible how nice that feels, how well balanced it is. How just millimetrically perfect the throttle response is, everything. Everything about the game of GTS is just a bit like on road or track. Oh man, I love the driving position in this car. I love the seats. The engine is just really naughty, really, really naughty, but in a lovely way. Fantastic gear change. I'm kind of having a bit of a bit of a moment here, a bit of a complete rewind about PDK because the manual gearbox in this thing is it's just delightful. It really is delightful. It really makes you remember what the, what the joys of changing gear are actually like and what they're for. Lovely throttle response. Massive brakes and lovely, lovely feel through the brakes. It even rides quite comfortably. I, I, look, I'm just going, you probably think I'm going way over the top about this thing, but I'm not. It is just the most lovely thing, lovely sports car to drive. <laughs> There's a cyclist on the side of the road there. Cyclists normally hate car drivers who drive fast. In fact, they normally hate car drivers full stop, but that lad was just giving it the big allez, allez. <laughs> Third, down to second. Just a tiny little nibble of understeer. Oh man. Get completely carried away in a car like this. Totally carried away. I really could. I think if I was going to have one car, one sports car in which to just have for the rest of time, I honestly think this might be it. It's that good. It's that amazing. And for £55,000. I drove the new M3 last week and that cost £55,000. And you wouldn't get a look at beside this car. Really, genuinely. I mean that.